this end. I deeply appreciate the uh, visit by uh, Senators Graham and Blumenthal on this day of commemoration of October 7th. It was the worst attack on the Jewish people since the Holocaust, but uh, unlike the Holocaust, we fight back. And we're uh, uh, fighting like lions with uh, the support of the American government, the American people, and its representatives who are so well represented here. I want to thank you both for your stellar support for Israel throughout the war. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. We're honored to be with you, and we appreciate your giving us this opportunity to speak with you on this really agonizingly difficult day for your country and the people of Israel and all of us in the United States who feel so deeply that it was an absolutely abhorrent, inhumane attack on the Jewish people. And we're here to say we have Israel's back and Israel has a right to defend itself. The reason people were killed on October 7th was they were Jewish. We've seen this movie before. We don't want to see any more of those movies. Living in their own homeland. You said something that really struck me. No one should be a refugee in their own country. They're going back to the north, folks. They're going back to these kibbutzes. Whatever it takes to get your people back in their homes, you do. Uh, to my friends in France, you got this ass backwards. You should be doubling down on helping Israel because the people that want to destroy Israel also want to destroy the French people. I get that. He gets that. You're fighting our fight. Uh, we're going to help you with your military needs. The Twin Towers fell not because of a hurricane, because radical Islamic terrorists killed 3,000 of us on a single day. And they would kill all of us if they could. If Iran ever got a nuclear weapon, they would use it. The question would be, who would they use it against first? Me, you, Saudi Arabia? We can never let that happen. So we're going to help you. 